I am M-E, and honestly, most people just call me M-E, kind of like, you know, Cher, Madonna, not that I'm those people, but you know, um, I've been here so long that uh, that name is sort of uh, what I am known by, and I get to direct the ARC, which is the Academic Assistance and Resource Center, and we have been around since 1983. So while SFA is celebrating 100 years, we are celebrating 40 years. Well, you know I'm from Nacogdoches, so SFA is very dear to me. And my family, my, my dad and my mom went to SFA, and so um, when I look at SFA, I'm thinking about it very historically. I think that SFA calls to people who want to be somewhere because they love the place. These are people who want to be somewhere where the faculty really care about students. We're going into the classroom is a transformative experience because the professor truly loves what he's doing and he wants the students to love it. And it has also been a place where people just really care about each other even outside of the classroom. So I taught here for 15 years, um, but I am also now, you know, not in the classroom and I'm as the director of the art, I get an opportunity to see how much care there is here for staff and students. And there's just a vibe here of uh, that kind of concern for each other, as well as, you know, the locale. SFA being here in the Piney Woods, there's just this sense of, I'm going to a place that is really special. Honestly, the big moments for me um, have been a series of little things that have happened. Um, you know, it's that tutor that reaches out and says, I notice how hard you work. And I notice that, you know, um, you do a good job here and I need some help with something. And so I'm reaching out to you. It's just been about little days where somebody says something and you think, well, there's my Academy Award, thank you. It's an employee here leaving and saying, hey, this was an amazing place to be. You know, and why those of us who could have gone somewhere else didn't. I just couldn't see a reason to leave. I really love it here. I love the ARC. Um, of course, I love the university as a whole, but being here where I see lives changing every day, when a student is able to pass statistics for the first time, they don't have to repeat it. They don't have that heartache of the repeat. They also don't have to pay for the repeat. They're on path. I'm telling you, this changes lives. They're going to get that degree. It's going to be on time. They're going to get the job. They're going to have the references that they need. And just to be any small part of that, honestly, these are the big moments. So I'm still here. <laughs> Wow, so this is really exciting. All the things that I'm seeing happening right now, right? Um, I'm seeing so much progress, even just in my building. You know, to, I, I never even thought I'd live to see a new carpet over here at the Ark. You know, it's such a big space, we couldn't get it. But now we have our new carpet, we have all new furniture. The building is changing because we have a new unit called the LLC, the Lumberjack Learning Commons. So I'm seeing progress, even just the creation of that unit of which I'm a part is progress. It's all about serving the students. I love the idea that we are now part of the UT family. I'm very interested in hearing what they have done at their learning center. Just that synergy of each unit reaching out and finding out, well, what are you doing? You know, what are your benchmarks? How are you making things happen for students? I am really excited for that conversation. It's just so great that SFA has given so much money to the art so that we can do this for free for the students. We pay our tutors, but it's free to the students. And to find a place that aligned with my own personal um, calling to, to do something more and to be able to do it as long as I have. Wow, yes, I owe somebody a big thank you. I'm trying to think who that would be, who got me this job. <laughs> but <laughs> I definitely owe them a thank you.